Megami Bigfoot. Location, cabin on small lake just outside Lady Evelyn Smoothwater Park in Megami, Ontario, Canada. Witnesses, Mr. and Mrs. D. Hybert. Date, April 15, 2009. Time, 2.39 p.m. At approx 2.39 in the afternoon Mrs. Hybert was opening the blinds in the back bedroom of the cabin and noticed a very large hairy upright creature on the top of the hill about 50-70 yards away. She informed Mr. Hybert who grabbed the digital camera and went outside to take a picture of it. While walking around the back corner of the cabin powering up his camera out of the corner of his eye he noticed it had seen him and froze. He had to delete several pictures from his SD card in order to be able to take any pictures. Mr. Hybert managed to take two pictures and while looking down at the camera it disappeared only to reappear 15 minutes later at the woodpile. It was peeking at him from the tree line beside a path. It was approx 10 plus feet tall and very massive. The creature roughly estimated to be twice the size of the witness. Three pictures were taken in all. The pictures were taken from the back of the cottage looking up the hill from the top of the propane tank cabinet. This thing stood perfectly still for what seemed like five minutes. I turned my head for a split second and it was gone. In the following weeks the screens were pushed in or torn off some windows of the cabin. The encounter was reported to the manor and op in newly secured on April 28, 2009. Three digitally transferred pictures were left with the officer as well as a one-page written report on the incident and the witness's phone number. The officer they spoke with found it hard to believe they were reporting it and asked, Are you serious about this? and laughed. A game warden and several manor biologists attended the cabin and stayed several days investigating and taking pictures of the area. They stayed on after the witnesses left. In 2010 witnesses sell cabin. Witnesses wife was no longer comfortable and afraid to go there. They believe the cabin has since been torn down. Previously in summer 2004 they were awoken at 2 a.m. by what seemed like really deep penetrating ground thuds, like picking up a huge boulder and pounding on the ground it shook the entire landscape. It went on for about 20 min and was very random maybe 10 or 15 hits to the ground. It was very singular and deep like a seismic thumper truck, the last hit to the ground was followed by the sound of big trees cracking about 150 yards out. The witness made coffee and stayed up till dawn that night. In 2006 after lending a local friend and three others the cabin for hunting season. They reported two black or dark blue helicopters flying low and circling for several days and nights in the area. It was definitely not game people doing rabies cube drops. This would have been fall 2006. It is assumed they were looking for someone or something and that was also the first year in many that no one received a moose tag to his knowledge. In 2007 there was three large boulders put on the road at the bottom of the hill as you come into the top of Lake XXXX it looked like they were rolled down the hill and placed there. Two of them came up to door of the truck, one was the height of the bumper and one of them was still there in 2010 because people began to just drive around it. Ontario Wildlife Field Research Ontario Bigfoot has many ongoing investigations in the Tmagami area. Tmagami is a very rich area for reports and incidents with this unknown creature. As well as many historic reports from other investigative groups and the local media. In our opinion these witnesses, Mr. And Mrs. Hybert are very honest and forthcoming with answers to our many questions. We appreciate the valuable information and knowledge we have gained by hearing their story.